26 after 6 o'clock. Hit Radio 95 WPLJ. Did you uh, go for a couple of lotto tickets there, Howard? Eighteen and a half million dollars. It's Lionel Richie, number one song in New York at WPLJ. Radio 95 WPLJ. I just got my AT&T credit card in the mail yesterday. Oh. Did you? Okay, which is the plastic uh, embossed one with your, your name on it. And I also have a New York telephone credit card, and they've got the same number on them. Mm, yeah. But what's the difference? I'm trying to figure out how does the, how does the phone companies know which one I'm using? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the same number. The bills come in different envelopes. <laughs> Plus, it's your That's finger. It. They can tell by pushing the finger exactly which card it is. <laughs> really? Very ingenious. They're very ingenious. Well, the AT&T one, it looks it looks nicer. You know, because the New York telephone one isn't on plastic and it's not embossed. You know, not everyone gets one of those. Huh? I don't. I have no idea how they just arrive. I you think know? you're a special kind of guy. No, no, no. Yeah. Shelley's a special kind of woman, though. She's yeah. due with a, an expectant baby, which could happen any day. Mm -hmm. She's on maternity leave. Chuck Severson is here. Good morning, 6.53 in WPLJ. It's supposed to be uh, sunny today, uh, partly sunny, breezy, mild, highs in the 70s. And the news brought to you by McDonald's. Jesse Jackson's message has come together. Hit Radio 95, WPLJ, 22 after 7 o'clock. Shelly's on maternity leave, but she's on the phone from her home, and I don't know how to pronounce the name, Shelly. Nobody here seems to be able to figure it out. We don't know whether it's French or Greek or what. Oops. Oh, I, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Actually, Shelly's are you okay, are we all right oh, now? Yeah, we're okay now. Okay. What, were you sitting on the cord or something? <laughs> nope, there, there you go again. What do you mean? You can't hear me? We're having some sort of problem with the line. Tell you what, why don't you hang up and call me back, and we'll hear from Summit Honda, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, sweetheart, baby cake, so you want a motorcycle? Yeah, but your prices are awfully high. Then I'll have someone to take after me, right? And for those of you who don't care to join us, of course you are free to leave us and take the little kitties with you. And remember, I'm still waiting to hear from you because I do get all my jokes from you, my listeners. So please write to me when you hear a good joke. Shelly Sunstein, WPLJ, 1330 Avenue of the Americas, New York, 10019. And at the very least, you'll keep me laughing as I'm waiting, right? Okay, this young couple's been married for a while, and one day the husband comes home and he tells his wife, Honey, I hate to tell you this, but it's all over. I met this girl, and for the last few weeks we have had a fantastic time in bed. I'm telling you, she really turns me on, and with you, I'm sorry, honey, it's finished. And the wife says, Look, I, I don't really understand this. I know that our sex life really wasn't that good, but I don't understand what your girlfriend can do to turn you on that I can't do. And she says, please give me a chance. Just tell me what this girl does to you, and maybe I can do the same thing, and you and I could get it on again. The husband says, you could never do to me what she does. And the wife says, oh, come on, give me a break. I'm sure I could do just as well. And the husband says, okay, okay, I'll tell you what she does to me. She moans. And the wife is flabbergasted. She moans? <laughs> the husband says, yes, she moans at the right time, and boy, does that turn me on. The wife says, but I can moan. And the husband says, no way, you can't moan, not like her. The wife says, please, please, let's try. You'll see, I can moan too. So the husband says, okay, this is your last chance. So they're in bed, and suddenly the wife asks, now, should I moan now? And the husband says, no, no, not yet. A few minutes later, the wife says, now, should I moan and groan now? And the husband is getting a little bit irritated now. He says, no, not yet. Then a minute later, the husband tells his wife, okay, okay, now, please, moan. Then the wife says, Oh, I had a terrible day with the kids. John broke his bicycle. The lady next door is gossiping. I don't feel well. Oh. Thank you, Shelly. You're welcome. Okay, bye. It's uh, 26 after 7 o'clock. That's not the way it would be in real life, is it? No. Go home and say, well, dear, I've been having this hot affair for a while. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you'll find too many wives who are going to go, well, I can be just as good. No. I need I, to talk about it with somebody. So. You got that kind of moaning, though. <laughs> anyway, uh, Chuck Sievertson is doing the news uh, for us this week. Good morning, Chuck. Good morning. Good morning. It's 726 in WPLJ, 57 degrees. The news brought to you by Snapper Lawnmowers. Eighteen and a half million dollars a lotto. <laughs> Boy, would that be nice to win. 
Hit Radio 95, WPLJ. I'm Jim Kirk. Good morning, 732. We have Cindy Lauper now in New York's number nine song. Everyone's making the break to Hit Radio 95, WPLJ. You should guys get us through the day. Working for like maybe a good 10 hours a day. You keep us going. WPLJ. 